to take off the upper valve module on an Autotrol, you will first want to put the unit in bypass or turn the water flow off. Unplugging the electric is a good idea. Grabbing the cover from both sides, pulling it straight up, and take a screwdriver and push any of the back three flapper valves over for a few seconds. That will let the pressure come off of the system. Then you'll want to unscrew the small Phillips screw here on your red or pinkish retaining bar, the one that says relieve tank pressure before removing the bar, important. It's important because it's probably impossible to take it out without it. Then kind of pressing down and wiggling a little bit, pull on the red bar and Okay, got her out. Now you can just grab the whole valve and rock it a little bit and it comes right off. And you'll notice there's uh, six holes. The O-rings may stay on or they may remain in the tank adapter portion of the valve. Your new tank adapter will come with six new O-rings and a small tube of silicone. Just break this off, squeeze a little out, work it around with your fingers just to get them lubed up and shiny. And you'll find uh, one medium size will go on the back. The smallest one goes up on the front and then the four in the middle are identical in size. Slip those on to the bottom of the new valve body that you're going to install. And clean your holes if there's any buildup, just wipe them out a little bit. Lower it down, finding the holes, push down. We're almost done. Find your holes. Get that locking bar back in there. Go ahead and put the screw back in. You've now installed a new upper valve module. Uh, you want to go ahead and turn the water on, plug it in. Let it do a little rinse here at the end. You can push this in, get it back to the start position. The reason these uh, K5 upper valve modules are shipped with the timer just before the fast rinse and the refill is because when you do install the new upper valve, you do need to do at least a short brine refill to purge the water out of the uh, injector system and through your air check, which will probably have drained of water in this uh, process. So, a short brine refill is a good idea. A minute or so, get all the air purged out. Then, since your system probably hasn't been working in a while, you might want to go ahead and start a regeneration at that time. And maybe set it to go again tonight. A couple back-to-back -back regenerations is the best way to get your resins back up to their full capacity. Set the time of day, whatever it says on your watch, that's what you want it to say. This arm is going to hit at 2.30 in the morning. And we've got six pins here. Whichever ones are pushed in, it will regenerate that night. So I push in number one and number four. It's going to go, skip two nights, go. And whatever pin is at the 6 o'clock position, that's what's going to happen tonight when the arm gets around. It nudges it, the gears take over, drive it through the whole cycle, backwash, a long brine and rinse, a fast rinse, a brine refill, 
and then back to treated water.